Yeah, thanks uh, for listening again. Thank you. So, this、uh, podcast we're recording right now is the first podcast、um, since, well, in the new year、yep. that we're recording. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.、Mm-hmm. Um, the podcasts that we released before were all recorded、mm-hmm. before the New Year. So, this is the first time we、yeah. had a chance. And,、um, We just want to say thank you for、yeah. all the support so far. It's great. More、um, than what we expect, I guess. Yeah, more than what we expected. Yeah. And、uh, we appreciate all the feedback and the comments that we have received so far.、Mm-hmm. Um, we want to continue to、um, improve, improve, grow. Grow. We're going to keep doing this. So、mm-hmm. we would really. Appreciate the continued support. Support, yeah. And again, same thing like、uh, give us some comment, reviews, and just tell us what you guys want to hear from us. Yeah, we're, we totally want to answer questions from our listeners.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, so I guess send us questions through、yep. our Instagram,、mm-hmm. email. Now we made the Twitter. Yeah, you can contact us through、uh, Twitter as well.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah.、Um, what's today's topic? Today's topic is winter in Japan. Winter in Japan.、Mm-hmm. Um, as everyone knows, Japan has four seasons. Yeah, it's a beautiful country with four seasons. And、um, Japan's one of the countries that.、Um, Or the cultures that really appreciate every season. Yeah. They find beauty in every single season.、Mm-hmm. They honor every season. They、um, eat seasonally. Yeah. Food wise and I would say like culture wise. Yeah. There's so many different events in different seasons. I, I want to say in like North America, the cities that have four seasons. Well, this is how I feel. But、um, you kind of want to get winter over with. Over, yeah. You kind of hibernate、mm-hmm. and just live to pass winter.、Mm-hmm. But in、mm-hmm. Japan, they really、um, take advantage and appreciate every、yeah. season. It's like a, when, when it's spring, you feel the spring, summer,、mm-hmm. yes, fall,、mm-hmm. and then winter. Every season, like you, we eat different,、mm-hmm. we obviously well in different.、Mm-hmm. So, I guess Japanese people enjoy、uh, seasons. Oh, yeah,、uh, very much so. Yeah. So, the temperature in Japan it's not as crazy as North America, North America yeah, or I mean, other winter cold countries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's pretty mild, moderate winter. Um, yeah. It can go from minus eight degrees Celsius to eight degrees Celsius.、Mm-hmm. You'll never feel that minus 20. No, never.、Right? I mean, it, but it, how about Hokkaido? Hokkaido, yes, yeah, could be.、Okay. Especially like no side of Hokkaido.、Uh-huh. But、uh, as a Japanese, when I, when I abroad in Canada,、uh, the difference between Japan and、uh, Canada was. The weather forecast because、mm-hmm. we have, I mean, here in Canada, there's a wind chill temperature. So the feels like. Feels like. Okay. But Japan, we don't have that. Oh, really? No, no in the weather. s Interesting. So I would say it's way more colder than what weather said. That, I mean, the forecast said. In Japan, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess here. If it's minus three, you never really pay attention to that. You're paying、no. attention to the feels like. Feels like. The wind chill factor. And normally, what? Minus three means minus 10? Yeah.、Generally. Something like that, right? Generally. Yeah. 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 All、know. right. So, what are some things that can help our listeners cope with winter in Japan?、Mm-hmm. Well, can I say? Yeah, go ahead. So, 
winter in Japan is like John say, it's not so cold, but because of there's no central heating, I guess the how to say on the wall? It, oh, the insulation. Insulation is not really great. Mm -hmm. So you feel cold. You feel like, colder than colder than what you see as a number. Okay. Yeah. So, so they should really have the feels like. <laughs> I think so. I really think so. They uh -huh. should have like how, uh, what's the feels like inside your house? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> because of no isolation, no central heating. Yeah. Winter in Japan in the house, you can see the fog from um, your mouth. The condensation like, from condensation. the mouth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you would say it feels way colder in Japan than it is here because of we yeah. have heating. Yeah. So Japan's not as winterized as no. Okay. Especially like where I'm from, Nagoya, because mm -hmm. we're in the middle, mm -hmm. middle of uh, Central Island, mm -hmm. and I guess we see sometimes snow in the winter, but I'll say like five days. Okay. In a winter season. Uh huh. So, again, let's not call, but when you see one degrees inside your house, it's really cold. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. So, some of the things in your house yeah. we have um, that can help you cope with uh, winter is mm -hmm. uh, kotatsu. Yeah. So what's a kotatsu? Uh, kotatsu is basically, it's like a coffee table, mm -hmm. square coffee table with a blanket. Like a duvet blanket. Duvet like a blanket. blanket. Yeah. On top of the table. Mm -hmm. And then under, under the, underneath, there's a heating system, heater. Yeah. So you turn on the heater, then you, you put your leg inside the the blanket mm -hmm. so you like uh how, how can i say like a down so downside. the bottom half bottom half, <laughs> half of your body is under the is table warm. it's nice and warm and cozy yeah, yeah i lived in um an apartment in mm. uh japan mm. and uh, i never had one but every mm. japanese household i visited all my friends mm -hmm. they all had kotatsu in the right. living room yeah why, why you didn't have it you didn't have chance to buy it I didn't have a chance to buy it and yeah. um i don't it, think it's as cold in an apartment building okay than it is in like a house so what you use i just had a like a space heater space heater. electric heater okay and not the, um, yeah yeah okay. my memory of japan i don't i don't remember it as being that cold that's true that's true but again coming from canada right mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i think your memory of being inside a house as a child, uh -huh. it's, it's way different, right? Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah. So even because of the household temperature, it's so cold. Mm -hmm. Even your jackets, all your clothing. All your clothing is very ice cold, obviously. So what we need to do in the morning is you wake up, then then what I was doing was like I already picked the clothes before I go sleep. Mm -hmm. And then after I woke up, then I, I grab all my clothes in my futon, I mean, in my bed mm -hmm. and then warm them up with my body the temperature, body heat and the residual yeah. heat from the yeah. bed. <laughs> Cause otherwise there's no way you want to wear <laughs> like ice cold pants or even shirts and these are good tips for people living in Japan mm -hmm. in the winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, another one for inside the house would mm -hmm. be a heated futon. Right. Yeah. It's like an electric, uh, heated mattress. Mm -hmm. So you can put on a, on top of the futon mattress, mm -hmm. then uh, it keeps warm. And these things don't really exist in North America. Like, right. You're not going to put kind a of surprise. Maybe a heated blanket is, mm. but not a heated mattress. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's weird though. Mm -hmm. Cause like Canada, they should have it. 
I just think Canada is more winterized. It's more ready for the cold winter. Right. Japan's Central summers are way hotter than summers here. Mm. Mm. So I think it, it, it has balance. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Yeah. How about um, for the street? Mm -hmm. What things can people do to keep warm? On the street? Yeah. When uh, so out. we have the, it's like a packet, uh, kyle, no, no kyle, he, he, heating Well, in pad? Japan, in Japanese, it's called kairo. Hokairo. Hokairo. Yeah. But how to say in English? Uh, how you a heating, describe? A heating pad? Heating, heating pack? pad, right? Yeah. Heating pack, maybe? Yeah. So what it is, it's like a, a fabric type pack. It's like more paper, paper type of fabric. Yeah. It's not plastic. It's not plastic. And, and then, then it has some some sort of like powder inside. Yeah, it feels like sandy inside. Yeah. Uh -huh. So once you rip the packet and then take off the kairo. So you rip off the plastic, plastic packet, packet, take out the take kairo. Out the, yeah, the, the, the heating pad. Heating pack. pad. Then you massage them. Mm -hmm. So they start like heated up by themselves. Yeah, there's like a chemical reaction exactly. with the stuff inside. Yeah. yeah, you massage it, you shake it, you shake it, and then keep it with you in, in your court or yeah, in your pockets. pockets yeah. Or I know right now there's even uh, uh, you can put inside your shoes. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I used to put them inside my glove. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? and it it does help a lot. Yeah, because when it's cold, all your uh, edge of your body extremities, yeah, uh -huh. it's super cold. Yeah, so like you you want to avoid that first. So the one for your shoes is it like an insole? Is yeah, it insole. like the shape of the insole. Okay, that's yeah. cool. I don't know if it's good though because yeah. to me it makes more stink your food. <laughs> I don't know. You're warming up the germs. You're warming up too much, and then you start sweating. You're cook you're cooking it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how long would you say these Cairo packs last for? I think a couple hours. Yeah, right? Yeah. And yeah. after that, you have to throw away. And you can find them anywhere. Yeah, yeah you, you can, can find them store. anywhere. Convenience store, drug store. Mm -hmm. But the best thing is convenience store. And they're not expensive. No, I think like 100 yen. Yeah, like, like a, a dollar. dollar, two dollar. A dollar is worth it for your... Yeah, to keep your definitely. commute warm. Yeah. Or you, if you go uh, the pharmacy or drugstore, and mm -hmm. then they have like box, so yeah, it, big, it gets cheaper, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, you should have it. You must have it. And another thing that I think we think that mm. you must have mm. is a uh, shout out to Uniqlo, but Uniqlo Heat Tech, mm -hmm. like Long must. John's. Yeah. Um, Inner shirts. inner shirt like a long sleeve yeah 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 and i don't know what's in their heat tech technology mm. but it is really warming it is really warm yeah and there's i i think because recently i went mm -hmm. uniqlo in here and then i bought it yeah and there's there's levels levels yeah. like three levels yes yes yeah and obviously it's getting more expensive and more thicker yeah so but you feel the difference like if you wear Uniqlo heat tech underneath your clothing and you come home and you take it off, you feel the temperature difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you should have it. That, that maybe you should buy it even you're in Canada because yes. Uniqlo is everywhere yes. now and yeah. it's very useful and then not that expensive anyway. No, very, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Uniqlo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, next we will talk about things to do in Japan during in the winter. winter yeah. yeah. Well, onsen, hot spring. Uh-huh. Obviously. There's a, I guess you guys might see the monkeys in onsen. Yeah, that's in Japan. a famous, well, you see a lot of, um, if you look at pictures of winter in Japan, mm -hmm. you'll see like a monkey. What type of monkey is it? Do we know? It's called Nihonzaru, so the Japanese monkey. Okay, Japanese yeah, monkey. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little bit of like a red face. Red face, right? yeah. And then hairy. And, um, you'll see a picture of them like covered in snow, but <laughs> chilling in like hot water. Hot water. 
That's cute though. Um, yeah, so the hot spring is actually in、uh, Nagano, Shiga Kogen, which is also famous for a、uh, ski、mm-hmm. resort. And just, just for the information, the,、uh, the monkey spring, hot spring, is called Jigoku Dani Onsen.、Mm-hmm. Jigoku means hell. Because、so, really? it's so hot? I guess so. Okay.、Yeah. So it looks like a hell because、uh-huh. a bunch of hot springs from the ground. So when you go to those、um, hot springs with the monkeys,、mm. are the monkeys in the onsen with you? No, no. <laughs> you, you can only watch. Thank fuck. <laughs> the monkey h a d their own onsen. Then,、okay. then human can enjoy to watch them. But the monkeys don't come into your onsen, your pool? The humans? No, I don't think so. Are you、so. sure? No. That's what、uh, well, may- m- Maybe it could be happen, but I guess they have protection for the human onsen.、Uh-huh. They should have some protection. I、yeah. don't know, man. Monkeys are smart. They can、Or、climb over. I hate monkeys. Smart, they're so, so scary. <laughs> according to Thailand monkey? Oh, yeah. In, in, <laughs> in、uh, Southeast Asia, the monkeys、yeah. are wild there. I know.、Yeah. They're wild. They're, they're smart. Mm. And they're dangerous. But I, I read the article about Jigoku Dani Onsen because、mm-hmm. they don't feed. They, don't, they, they tell everybody to not feed them. Because once you start feeding m o n k e y that's how they get like, okay, I can get、uh, food from humans. They relate humans. humans with food. Yeah. And at the end, they're going to be more aggressive and start attacking, right? In Thailand, the monkeys will just climb on you and grab your food. Yeah, because they're <laughs> on the street everywhere. They'll grab your cigarettes too and smoke it. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you go there, just make sure you're not going to feed them. Just watch、mm-hmm. and take a picture,、mm-hmm. put on Instagram or whatever. Yeah, that's for sure an Instagrammable <laughs>、yeah. moment. Yeah. If you and, travel. And maybe if you、anything. travel and then you remember because of us and then you can hashtag so Japanese. Nice. <laughs>、um, So, you were speaking of Nagano、mm-hmm. and skiing and snowboarding.、Mm-hmm. Japan's one of the countries that are famous for that, right? Yeah. One of the best、uh, ski resorts、mm-hmm. in the world. So, like Nagano is one of, one of the places because they, they had a Nagano Olympic,、yeah. Winter Olympic.、Mm-hmm. And this place, the Shigakogen, was the, the main、uh, ski. Okay. Area, yeah, and、so、I've if, been there too. It's、oh yeah? huge、okay. and beautiful.、Yeah. So, if you're an avid skier, snowboarder, you must should, visit,、yeah. must visit, must visit, yeah. Or you can go Hokkaido because、mm-hmm. they have another one. My friends went there like a couple years ago, and then right away he came back and、uh, he talked to me like it was insane. The snow was like powder snow, beautiful, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. So If you guys love skiing and snowing, you should check that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like what?、Um, for surfers, you have to visit like Hawaii and mm-hmm. Bali. Mm-hmm. But if you're a skier, snowboarder, you have to visit、It's, Japan. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people from the world,、mm-hmm. they go to ski and snowboard in those, those places. Because it's just, I heard like the snow. Quality is very nice.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you have, you can go on sand after. So, why、That's、not? Cool, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, well, when we talk about Hokkaido, Hokkaido is the north、uh, island of Japan. And obviously, wintertime, they're very cold. My mom actually from Hokkaido. Okay. They have、uh, one snow festival called Sapporo Snow Festival. And then that's the biggest、uh, winter festival in Japan, I would say.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they make、uh, snow statue, ice statue. statue. Yeah. Re- yeah.、Uh, sculptures. Sculptures. Yeah. Yeah. Really elaborate snow and ice sculptures.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, crazy、mm-hmm. to see.、Mm-hmm. Um, one of the more famous festivals in Japan, right? Yeah. 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 And then.、Um, Also, with all Japanese festivals, you、mm-hmm. have street food that、mm-hmm. go with it. So, what are some of the winter, popular winter foods of Japan? Nabe. Nabe. Hot pot. Nabe、yeah. is hot pot. Yeah, nabe is hot pot. Oden, which so, is. Nabe 
Um, what's the difference between nabe hot pot and a shabu shabu hot pot? As a Japanese, because mm -hmm. nabe nabe is uh, technically the pot we call nabe. Okay. So if you cooking with the pot, your mom gonna ask like nabe, tote uh -huh. or something like that. Uh -huh. So like technically nabe is the the things the pot yeah pot but. Also, when we talk about food, when we say nabe, that means hot pot. Okay. So, shabu shabu is part of nabe, sukiyaki is part of nabe. So, for nabe nabe, oh. it's um, all the ingredients are already inside the pot. Yes. And you grab it. But shabu shabu, Sh shabu you're dipping, only shabu shabu, yeah. You're dipping in, inside the water. Yeah. Right. For, for like 10 seconds or something. Uh -huh with like uh thin sliced beef pork whatever mm -hmm. or like veggies i have fond memories of um going to my um japanese friends houses in the winter mm -hmm. and then having nabe mm -hmm. with the kotatsu mm -hmm. yeah. so you're That's... warm on your lower half from the duvet the heated mm -hmm. duvet mm -hmm. and then you're warm from up top because mm -hmm. you have a boiling pot of food mm -hmm. in front of you mm -hmm. especially like yeah like young people they want to gather with your friend in uh, winter time. Mm -hmm. Nabe is the best. It's easy. What would you say are the, um, what are your top three mm -hmm. ingredients mm -hmm. that have to be in a Nabe? Mm. It really depends on which Nabe we're going to do, but the a general winter at home Nabe. Uh, I think then like, I do some miso base okay. with uh, thin sliced pork mm -hmm. and napa cabbage. Napa cabbage, is, yeah, yeah, must. And scallion, mm -hmm. negi, mm -hmm. and mushroom. Okay, yeah. Mine would be napa cabbage, some sort of meat, mm. um, tofu, mm. and um, the. Um, mochi sheets oh the mochi sheets oh. and you dip it literally like Little, one second yeah and then yeah and it gets it's like some so it comes in like um like a a hard card like sheet okay right and then you dip it in and so it that becomes soft rice cake is for shabu shabu kind of yes yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. oh mm -hmm. are there thicker rice cakes for nabe i don't know i don't eat mochi oh <laughs> You're a bad choice. <laughs> um, okay, so nabe, and then you touched on um, shabu shabu mm -hmm. and sukiyaki. Mm -hmm. Sukiyaki is kind of like it's like in the middle, like mm -hmm. it's still all in a pot. Yeah, and thinly sliced meat is beef. a thing. Beef. Yeah. Oh, it's beef. Yeah, and it's more of a sweet sauce. I mean, soy. Soy and sugar and uh -huh. uh, dashi and uh an important thing for sukiyaki is mm. you dip whatever food items inside the pot with raw egg raw egg yeah with like a scrambled raw scrambled egg. raw egg yeah uh -huh. it's very common so i don't know if you guys try before but if you go to japan and then you had a sukiyaki they're gonna give you mm -hmm. the small uh side bowl with like egg an egg that you crack yourself exactly yeah japan has no um there's nothing weird about eating eggs raw no right? we even eat with rice yeah right Tamago that... kake gohan. yeah right mm. so it's like a bowl of hot rice mm. and then you crack a raw egg and then mm. you mix it mm. yeah. yeah it's really it's really common it's really common and but i just want to say like north america like maybe you guys get scared yeah but right? Once you crack the egg, you can see the color. It's different. Like mm -hmm. Japanese egg is way more like a orange, orange, yeah, than North American egg. I think it goes back to our other podcast where we talked about like mm. uh, eating raw chicken. Mm. It's how the animals are raised there. Yeah, yeah. Also, how how they uh, take care of the eggs and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question. Mm. Are um, eggs refrigerated in Japan? No. Right? Only in North America, I want to say. Yeah. 
in even living in Thailand, eggs are just out, even with like 30 degree temperature. Mm. Mm. And it was like a trip for me to see because mm. you go to the supermarket and yo, why aren't the eggs in the refrigerator? What I heard was because North America regulation, they have to wash egg. But okay. once you wash egg, actually egg has the protection by themselves as the, after they born. Yeah. So that because you wash them, then, then you wash the away the natural barrier. Yeah. So then after that, you have to keep in, keep the, in fridge. the fridge. But I think Japan doesn't do it. Uh, I think most of the world doesn't do it. Mm. I think eggs in England too. No, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Let's yeah. uh, okay. So winter um, <laughs> nabe, mm. um, sukiyaki, mm. shabu shabu, and also we have oden. Mm. Oden. I don't think I've ever had oden like in a restaurant. I've always had oden at convenience stores. Convenience store. Yeah. And then so during the winter season, you'll see like um, like a he like a heat box. Heat box with the and liquid. different compartments. Yeah. Um, you'll have the liquid like the dashi, the soup, mm -hmm. the broth. Mm -hmm. And then in each compartment, we'll have like skewered sticks of fish cakes, various foods. Yeah, fish mostly cakes fish common. cakes and s some sausage, um, egg, egg, and uh, yam cake, konyaku. konyaku. Yeah, uh -huh. konyaku is like um, it's like a um, jelly, jelly, type gelatinous. Of... Yeah, yeah. How Hard to describe. But something that um, you guys should try. Yeah. Um, yeah. How would you describe it? Actually, like, hmm. kind of gummy texture, like like a gummy bear, like gelatinous. Yeah. Um, but not so chewy. Not so chewy. Yeah. Um, is those noodles uh, shira shirataki shirataki yeah. noodles same, same thing, same, right? Same thing. So I think if our listeners know th what that is, cause it's really um, popular for like healthy eaters now because it's like a low, c low calorie food mm -hmm. or even a negative calorie food. Mm -hmm. It's a, like a noodle replacement, yeah. but no star, I uh, know no carbohydrates, no carbohydrates. So yeah. that's, um, that texture. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. what else, um, that goes inside the oven? Uh, daikon, uh, daikon. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there's a lot now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you go to the convenience store, mm -hmm. there's going to be bowls, bowls, and then you can pick and then pick the skewers. Each skewer has its own price mm -hmm. and then you can ladle in as much broth as you want mm -hmm. and it's eaten with mustard. Yeah. yeah. Because like the dashi, the broth already has taste. Mm -hmm. So like it, you're just gonna hint uh like a spiciness from the mustard mm -hmm. japanese kalashi mustard yeah so and from nagoya we also added miso okay yeah that's specific to that's the nagoya. japanese uh sorry yeah nagoya food so <laughs> you're yeah. from nagoya that's yeah <laughs> <laughs> and hot sake as well hot sake that was something weird for me right yeah yeah, I think uh, we're used to. Well, no, because North America winter time they drink that hot wine, the mold wine. wine. Yeah, it's warm. That's, that's true. Yeah. Cider can be warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, hot sake. Mm -hmm. How is hot so sake uh, served in Japan? Uh, in a small bottle, mm -hmm. like a ceramic bottle, mm -hmm. with small uh, cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it heated? They heated it, they, they, they pour sake in a special mug mm -hmm. and then there's a water bus. So they, okay. they put there because yeah. you can't boil them. No, you kill the no. alcohol, right? Exactly. Okay. So yeah, hot sake is uh, about like no hundred, uh, degrees Celsius. Yeah. It's no. not burning your mouth. No, 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 no. It's, it's just like, like a, a 60... gentle warmth. Yeah. 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 Cause also flavor wise, right? Yeah. If you heat it up too much and it's gone, so you kill the flavor. Yeah. And hot sake, uh, we talk about hot spring, some place they can actually serve you hot sake while you're in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. I, I never done that, 
but I saw a picture a bunch of times and then you so you sit in a bath outside a bath mm -hmm. especially then uh, you feel cold and you see the snow with hot uh, nice hot bath mm -hmm. and then just drinking sake is it like on a floating tray on a yes yeah yeah it's cool so it's like in um, the resorts in Mexico with a floating margarita <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Um, yeah. yeah, must do in Japan. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, what else we have? R ramen. How about, like, I'm, we're just thinking of like all the hot, brothy, soupy mm. foods, right? Yeah, ramen always good. Ramen's all year round, but are there any types of ramen that are specific to winter? No. No? No. Ramen is all year round. Yeah. Maybe more udon. Okay. Soba, hot udon soba is okay. kind of good to have it yeah. while it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so I want to ask you, when you're in Japan in mm -hmm. winter, mm -hmm. uh, how, uh, so you say your, your apartment is small, right? Yeah. So you only have the one heating system? Mm -hmm. It was like... It's like a portable electric... Heater, you just oh, so you it. buy it. Uh, I inherited it or I bought it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but again, coming from Canada, um, I didn't think winter in Japan was that cold for me. Mm. Also, because you're Himeji, maybe. Maybe Himeji. It's a little so it's bit like south. A little bit south in the Kansai region. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't, and there wasn't really a lot of snow either. Mm. I didn't. I remember not even having to bring my winter boots. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I mean, you coming from like fifteen, twenty centimeters of snow. Oh, I see. I see. And I then see. in Himeji, and it is nothing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't have. Yeah, for sure, two gloves. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cairo for mm -hmm. sure. Cairo. But um, my memories of winter in Japan are nothing like your childhood memories. And, like I right. don't remember seeing waking up with mm. condensation out of mm. my mouth no maybe also because it was my house yes <laughs> maybe, maybe 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 exactly yeah uh, maybe apartments in japan are more winterized mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little uh thing um apartments in japan are called mansions well mansion. so mansion it's the you're talking about the whole building though right like apartment here, Japanese people think mansion. Yeah. And then we have uh, the small version of mansion. Mm -hmm. It's the apartment. Okay. Normally it's like two two stories and then maybe 10 unit. So like a low That's rise apartment. apartment. Yeah. That's an apartment. But like yeah. the high rise. High rise and like several unit mm -hmm. we say mansion which yeah. is like so if you're coming from north america we mm. think mansions are like super luxury. big yeah. yeah like drake's house yeah yeah, yeah 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 those are mansions yeah so if you say like oh i live in a mansion mm. in japan it doesn't mean you live in, in a luxury no, no. <laughs> house no no yeah all yeah. right so winter in japan um mm -hmm. it's a good time to go yeah, no, right. definitely. Living I mean, in I Thailand, mm. let's go ahead. No, the winter in Japan, the food wise, especially fish, because they all get nice and fat. Nice, and that's true. And it gets good uh, flavors and yeah. umami. So mm -hmm. you must try several seafood, especially crab, you said. Crab, was really, yeah. yeah, from Hokkaido. You get all that um, fatty roe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, so please check it out and uh yeah so japan four seasons they honor e every season every season has its positives and negatives but mm -hmm. um if you're able to visit japan mm -hmm. try the winter season yeah yeah in southeast asia actually people love visiting japan in the winter because wow. they want to feel the cold so like uh... in thailand it's hot all the time right mm -hmm. but for a vacation, mm -hmm. they love going to Japan or South Korea to experience uh, winter. 
yeah, they love buying a uh, new jacket, jacket and, and well, experiencing that. I guess that makes you know, sense. For them, taking a photo all white behind you, mm-hmm, that's, mm-hmm. that's something different, right? That's true. That's so true. if you're uh, from a hot country and you want to visit um, a winter country mm-hmm. during the wintertime, Japan. Japan is good. Don't bother coming to Canada. <laughs> it's boring. It's just cold. Yeah, it's just cold. Uh-huh. <laughs> so um, we uh, have a new mm-hmm. segment, two new segments. Mm-hmm. So again, as we are continuing to do this pro- podcast, we want to bring more value, more entertainment to our listeners. And um, we have a new segment called Kore ka sore. This or that. Mm-hmm. So every episode, we're going to ask each other three things and uh, just talking points. And um, the other person doesn't know. So today, I'm going to ask Ryusuke. Hi. And um, he doesn't know what they are. He doesn't Hi. know what I'm going to ask. Kawaii. And on the spot, he's going to pick. I, this or that. I'm going to give him two things and he's going to pick this or that. I, so, um, for the first thing, onsens or sento? I ask this because we just released an episode of um, right, right. about onsens. Mm-hmm. So, onsens and sentos. Onsen. Obviously, right? Because mm-hmm. it's from natural Na- nature. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, we were talking about futons. Mm-hmm. A quick thing about futons. Futons actually a Japanese word. Yes. Yes. In North America or in English, you um, think of futon as like a convertible sofa. Mm-hmm. But in Japan, futons like is that so type of mattress, mat- like a thick, thick heavy mattress. It's like a very, very, very thick blanket, more than mm-hmm. a traditional bed mattress that you mm-hmm. think of, like with springs or f- memory foam, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but you can still hold them. Yeah, you fold it up. Yeah. So a lot of houses in Japan, um, tatami floors, tatami mats, mm-hmm. and then they don't really have a separate bedroom per mm-hmm. se. Some mm-hmm. of, some houses. So when it's time for bed, mm-hmm. they roll out the futons. They take out the futons from the futon closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oshire. Roll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> roll it out mm-hmm. and then sleep. And then in the morning you roll it back in and put it in the closet. Otherwise, your mama. Ma, 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 mother yeah. will tell you why your futon is still there. Put so it back. That's the Japanese uh, equivalent of like making your bed. Making your bed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so futon or bed? Like traditional bed? Uh, bed. Bed. Yeah. Um, Especially winter time. Why? Because futon, like you say, uh, with a futon, you sleep on the floor. Mm hmm. Colder. Colder. Hot air rises, right? Bad. I guess a little bit warmer. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I only asked this because I thought maybe you would say futon because <laughs> of nostalgia, you know, it's cozy. No, it's still no. bad. <laughs> I didn't like futon because of, um, I didn't, I wasn't aware, but you need to hang them out. Yeah. And dry in the sun. Yeah. Or else they can easily get moldy. Yeah, yeah, especially right. in summertime because yeah, it's so hot and humid. Humid. So like, mm-hmm. I remember my first futon. I would change the sheets and be mm. like, "Yo, why is there like black dots everywhere?" Hey. And I realized that was I've it been, brand new you bought, um, or you got from? I someone? think it's just one summer season did. Oh, okay. It. And um, I'm yeah. So I was sleeping on mold, uh, and then later my Japanese dangerous. friends tell me like, "Yo, you're you supposed should. to hang them out." Uh-huh. And that made sense to me because in the summertime, you look at all the balconies around you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're futons. Oh, futons. Like when you see apartment on the uh, balconies, mm-hmm. like futon, futon, futon. Yeah, yeah, futon. yeah. And also laundry too. I, I've always wondered why. I never did it, but yeah. It's now like you know. You, ha- you have to. So the yeah. sun dries it out. The, the rays also kill the bacteria. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm airs it out yeah very important yeah and it's healthy too yeah yeah and then the last one is Mm -hmm. uh udon or soba oh soba soba yeah i love soba yeah yeah 
I, I, I mean, I love both. Now I love both. Mm-hmm. But when I was child, always soba. Whenever we go, if there's a choice, udon or soba, always go soba. And that's for both hot and cold. Yes. Yeah. 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 I like the chewiness of udon. Udon. Yeah. That's why I don't like the chewy. That's why you don't like mochi. <laughs> exactly. I like mochi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So you picked mm-hmm. onsen, mm-hmm. bed, and mm-hmm. soba. Hi. Nice. So next episode, you're going to ask me Hi. three things. Sure. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Mm-hmm. Kore kasore. Kore kasore. Um, just add some talking points. Uh-huh. Hopefully uh, we can continue to, or hopefully we entertain you with that. Mm-hmm. Um, we use it as a vehicle to give, pass on more information. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we also have another new segment Mm -hmm. we start last time right oh yeah we started last time um this segment we call it street level japanese Mm -hmm. and it's um we're trying to introduce slang more Mm -hmm. informal Mm -hmm. japanese colloquialisms Mm -hmm. things that you wouldn't find in a traditional um textbook or dictionary or dictionary or it's more like useful what when you talk with your Japanese friend. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, because living in Japan, when I lived in Japan, I knew zero Japanese moving there, which is bad on me. Mm. Um, but, and I never formally took lessons. I never mm-hmm. joined like a language school or anything. Mm-hmm. So all my Japanese, I learned from a bar, from mm-hmm. working at a bar. Mm-hmm. And um, I think I was able to trick a lot of Japanese people Mm -hmm. with my fluency because I was speaking more street level Japanese. Mm -hmm. So it made them think that I was more fluent than I was. Mm. Um, And one that I really like was um, shortening some words. Some words, yeah. Um, Japanese people love it. Japanese people love shortening words. when you say these words, I also thought it was like, it sounded cooler. It's like, mm-hmm. um, yeah. so for example, we're talking about, um, winter in Japan, mm. cold. Mm. How do you say cold in Japan? Samui. 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 And that would be like the correct formal yeah. version of it. Yeah. But on the street, mm-hmm. um, and these words are said like in more of like a quick reactionary way, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So for example, if I touched you with uh, an ice cube, mm-hmm. you would say Samu- Samu- uh, Samu- So instead of Samui, you shorten it to Samu- 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 yeah. um, So we'll go through a couple more examples. Mm-hmm. So um, it hurts mm-hmm. is itai. itai. Yeah. And um, some people who... Uh, watch Japanese pornography might <laughs> mm, might hear yeah, this yeah right or itai, even animation itai or yeah. animation yeah. itai itai hurts mm-hmm. and then in this uh, shortened version it would be ita 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 itai ita ita okay another mm-hmm. one um smelly mm. kusai mm. kusai mm. let's uh let's hold it and then Listener can think about what is Kusai is shorting because we gave them to okay, so think about maybe you can stop now, think about it, then we're gonna say okay, perfect. All right, let's say so. Smelly is Kusai, Kusai, and the shortened version is go ahead, Kusa, 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 Kusa. And I like, I think I like it because the way you say it sounds more joking yeah 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 right? that gives you more like oh it's very like friendly kind Playful. of full yeah. yes yes vibes okay and the next one is um far no no what's the no kai? that's the big big oh yeah. yeah okay yeah so big is dekai dekai but dekai is actually already we say oki oki yeah, yeah. but Okay, this so one, really, really formal, bright, formal, polite, okay. But then I normally say dekai. 
So that's already slang. Yeah. And and you can shorten shorten it. The cup. The cup. The cup. Yeah. Okay. And um, the next one is kimoi. 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 This is actually kimochi warui. Kimochi warui means mm. literally it means sick to my stomach, right? Mm-hmm. Or like gross. Gross. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, kimoi. Mm-hmm. So we can pause it there. Listeners mm-hmm. can take a guess of mm-hmm. what the shortened version is. Thank it. Thank it. And it is kimo. 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 So, um, anything gross, like anything gross, like uh, if if ladies seeing some old man come to her and then like, can I ask your name? And then they go kimo. Okay, so it's kind yeah. of like gross. Ew. Yeah. Or when you see, uh, for example, like bunch of dots, tryptophobia. Yeah. Then yeah, then you don't like it, and then you kimo. Kimo. Yeah. Kimo. Um, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll do one more. Yep. Nice. Um, this one is Dasai. 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 It sounds like a sake name. One of the famous oh, sake yeah, really? names is Dasai. <laughs> that's kind of a bad name for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Dasai is kind of like um, lame, mm. uh, not cool. Not cool. Not fashionable enough. Not fashionable. Not hip. No help. Right. So yeah. I guess like if I've been told that before, like if I say something, I'm, I can't think of the example now, which is a bad example, but mm. um, yeah, you say something not cool mm. yeah, or you show like your age mm-hmm. amongst younger people, mm-hmm. they might call you dasa, dasa, dasa. So this is way more like dasa, you know, but yeah. anyway, dasa, dasa. Yeah. I yeah I I use all these words when yeah. I'm talking with my friend. Normal everyday Japanese people use these words, mm. right? Mm. Um, no, not to my boss, not to I don't know, like yeah, that. no, in like maybe a business setting, you wouldn't do that. No, but it's informal, but also not impolite. Mm. No, right? impolite. It's not an impolite way. Mm. Maybe it is impolite to call someone the sun, mm. mm. but shortening it is not impolite. No, it's always more casual. So, right. but it's good if you have Japanese friend, mm-hmm. then uh, you guys talk something, then uh, you can use like kimo, kimo, yeah, or kusa, kusa, or dasa, or hot atsui. You touch atsu the bowl and it's hot yeah. atsu. Yeah, and. People will think that you're more. Um, They're gonna be happy for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember uh, when I met you. Then, then you know the Japanese, and then you say that, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I've tricked many people. Yeah, my yeah. Japanese is actually not that good, but knowing the street level Japanese, it break the wall. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. I, it gets very close to the. Person. I would say like your English. Yeah, exactly. Like, my English, English is perfect. Not, Perfect, but it's not like um, formally educated, right? You know, no, you learn from talking to friends, yeah. from working, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So some of the vocabulary you come out with is surprising for your level of English. I think so. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, when I say, "Oh, it's cool." Yeah, exactly. That's like no, no. Every Japanese people say, "Oh, it's cool." Exactly. A lot of Japanese friends in here I talk with, and then sometimes they speak English, but. Because they're pride, so mm-hmm. they're always trying to make formal yeah. English. But my Japanese, my English, same. <laughs> so if you ever want to pretend to be fluent in a certain language, mm-hmm. just use the slang and the impolite versions. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I mean, at least you can make a friend. Yeah. Right. You know, and then that's how you start improve your language. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is actually good. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys love it. Yeah. We will do and it. And if you guys ever like watch anime or any Japanese shows, mm-hmm. um, Terrace House or whatever mm-hmm. that's popular on Netflix, and you pick up on these things, then, let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then then we can we can talk, we can say, or you can we can explain exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoy today's episode. 
yes. of uh, winter in Japan mm -hmm. and our uh, two new segments, mm -hmm. Kore Ka Sore and Street Level mm -hmm. Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, we would uh, love your and appreciate your continued support. Yeah. Um, Spotify recently, um, you're able to give podcasts reviews. ratings, reviews. Yeah. Well, not reviews, just ratings, ah, just ratings. a star rating. Okay, okay. Um, Apple Podcasts always allowed for ratings and reviews. Mm -hmm. but and Spotify thank you so much. Some people already gave us five star reviews. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so we much. really appreciate it. Yeah. So um, if you uh, like what you hear, even mm -hmm. if you don't like what you hear, just please give us five stars. It'll, mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll really help us mm -hmm. out. Or just shoot us anything you think you want us to talk. Then Yeah, if there's anything you want us to talk about or any criticisms, any mm -hmm. feedback, mm -hmm. any questions, we mm -hmm. would appreciate any type of interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you can contact us through uh, our Twitter, yep. uh, Instagram, Instagram, or email. Uh, you know, so Japanese info at so Japanese. Info so, yeah. 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 So again, thank you so much. And, uh, we, we're still new, mm -hmm. so we still improving a lot of stuff. Yeah. So please forgive us if something not really right, but, mm -hmm. uh, I hope you guys always enjoy. Yeah. We hope, uh, 2022, we will really improve. Mm -hmm. We will for sure. This podcast. Yeah. One day. We will surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't uh, don't give people high expectations <laughs> of us. You well, still feel really awkward. Yeah. Well. Anyway, again, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.